Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper. So guys, we officially have the Infinite Warfare Zombies DLC 1 release date for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And so, that's what we're going to be talking about today, guys. And if we can go for 1 on 5 likes on the video, that'd be absolutely amazing. Everybody, make sure to hit that like button for me. You're going to go for 1 on 5, and I really would appreciate it. And also, one more thing before we get started. I want to say, guys, I'm really, really sorry for, you know, the lack of uploads and videos and streams and stuff like that recently over this past week. But I've been extremely busy with college work, but I, I got that bit of work out of the way, so things should be back to normal. So with all that aside, guys, let's talk about about the main topic of today's video and this is going to be infinite warfare's dlc1 release date now this is sort of accidentally revealed um it's really not a big deal how it was revealed but we know the official date but it wasn't really supposed to become public at this time now the way this actually happened was through uh lee ross on twitter if you guys don't follow him he is the developer for infinite warfare zombies and he's very active with the community like he'll reply to stuff he'll like tweets and that sort of thing and he ended up like or he ended up replying to a tweet that asked when dlc1 was going to be and he straight out flat out told them exactly when we could expect DLC 1. Now I would show you the tweet but this was since deleted because I think that they saw him tweet this out and they realized that he wasn't supposed to do it so they made him delete the tweet or maybe he deleted himself I don't really know but the tweet is no longer available so I don't have a screenshot of it but the thing is you can google it so look look at this if you actually google it it will come up as still like a google search result however when you click into the thing it'll just say like the tweet isn't available anymore or whatever it just like will actually see the thing itself but he did actually end up tweeting this out at this guy and his reply was that on P PS4 DLC 1 for Infinite Warfare is going to be released on January 31st. Now, like I said, this isn't really like a huge discovery because we always get our DLC information about, you know, late January is usually when typically when we get it, we start hearing about it maybe like two weeks before or whatever. So this isn't a huge deal, but we know for a fact now that on PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, PS4, whatever you want to call it, uh, whatever console you're on, it is going to be released on January 31st. And then on Xbox and PC, it's going to be about a month later. So look at the dates here. We have Tuesday, January 31st for PS4 and then about a month later give or take a couple days on both Xbox and PC it will be released sometime in late February so that is pretty much what we have today for these release dates. Another thing that I want to talk about is the map itself that we're getting in DLC 1 so I made a video a couple of weeks ago speculating about DLC 1 and there's a certain poster in the Afterlife Arcade that I thought was extremely suspicious and that could potentially be uh, you, you know maybe an image or just some sort of teaser for the DLC 1 zombies map and what I didn't know at the time but I, uh, you, I would love to put in the video if I had didn't know this information when I made it, but now we know it now is that that poster in the code of the game files itself, the one that I showed in that video and the one that you're seeing on screen right now, is actually called DLC1 poster in the code itself. Like it's it just straight out DLC1. They even try to hide it with any sort of code name or anything like that. It is literally labeled DLC1. So we know for a fact that this is related and correlated in some way. And also not to mention that video, I was speculating about what the map could possibly be and I had brought up a couple of things like maybe it was a prison or some sort of asylum. I'm actually going to keep, you know, I'm going to keep my money on that because I do still feel like that is definitely a possibility. Now, I, I know that it's not going to be in the 80s or it probably will not be in the 80s for every single one because like I said before, Worldwide makes a big point about Zombies in Spaceland specifically being in the 1980s and I think that through every single DLC, we're going to be jumping to a different time zone or a different, you know, point in time and in every single map which I think is gonna be really really interesting so this makes our DLC 1 image teaser a little bit hard to predict where and when it is going to be so that's where the question comes in and that's what I want to know from you guys in the comment section down below is where do you think this zombies map is going to be in terms of like its geologic location and also where do you think it's gonna be where do you think it's gonna be and when do you think it's going to take place time zone and location that's what I know from you guys in the comment section down below guys we know the release date for DLC 1 is gonna be coming out very very soon and uh, we don't really know the time zone or the location of the map yet but we're gonna get some special speculation going down below in the comments but anyway thank you everybody so much for watching the video i really do appreciate it. if you guys did enjoy this or if you found this helpful make sure to leave a like and also don't forget to don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and if you haven't already thank you all for watching again hope you guys have a fantastic day and i will see you guys on the next one